Look at Acts chapter 1. I'm going to show you the qualifications of an apostle, okay? And this is something that I brought to the attention of someone who was part of this La Luz del Mundo LLDM false cult. And I said, look, this is the qualifications of an apostle. You tell me, has your apostle done this? Has he seen this? And in context of Acts chapter number 1, what is this referring to? It's actually referring to the fact that, obviously, they're looking for a new apostle to take the place of Judas Iscariot, okay? Now, look at verse 21. They're saying what, what, what they're looking for in this apostle. It says, Wherefore of these men, which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the same day he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed to Joseph called Bar Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. So in order to be an apostle, you would have to have seen the resurrected Christ. Resurrected. Okay. From the time of the baptism of John until the time he was resurrected, they would have to have seen that. Now, you say, well, what about Paul? Well, if you read Acts chapter 9, he saw the resurrected Christ. He said, Paul, why persecutest thou me? You know, and he, and he said, you know, who art thou, Lord? And he said, it is hard for thee to kick, kick against the pricks. He got saved. He was then baptized. He was taken into Arabia, according to the Bible. He was taught the word of God by Jesus Christ himself. He had seen the resurrected Christ. That's why he said, last of all, me. And by the way, when the Bible says that he was the last one, it literally means he was the last apostle. Okay. Not Joseph Smith, not La Luz del Mundo, Joaquin, Samuel, whatever their names are. Not, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Apostle from this charismatic church in Inglewood or whatever. None of those people are apostles. Okay, None of them have seen the resurrected Christ. Now, many of them will claim that they saw the resurrected Christ. Okay, But if you ask them, what did he look like? Well, he had long hair. <laughs> he had a dress. <laughs> I was like, well, that's not Jesus. Jesus didn't wear a dress. He wasn't a transvestite. He wasn't a trainee, you know. And he wasn't light-skinned either. You know, he was in the Middle East. The guy was probably dark. Okay, the Lord was probably very dark when he. Why? Because he was from the Middle East. Okay, he wasn't this Renaissance queer-looking portrait that we see. You know. All Hispanic homes know what I'm talking about. The Pantene Pro-V vitamin hair. <laughs> the brunette hair, right? He just, and he's like, his, his, his goatee is like, like shaved. It's just perfect. And he just, and he always has his heart exposed. It's like very, very morbid. There's like a crown over there. He, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. There's like a heart right here and it's open in his chest. And there's like a crown, and it's just like bleeding. I hated seeing that thing when I was a kid. And then it's just like, I'm like, mom. You know, I was like, but you know what? You talk to these, these false apostles, they'll tell you that that's what he looks like. And you know what? That's exactly who they saw. Here's the difference. It's not Jesus. Some devil is what it was. Okay? So they have to have seen the resurrected Christ. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 